Look, kids, we have a letter. Dear kids, can you help me discover the Titanic? Your friend, Tim. The Titanic was one of the largest ships of its time. It was as long as three football fields and as tall as a 17-story building. It was a Royal Mail ship. Along with over 2,200 passengers, it carried six to nine million letters on its maiden voyage. Did you know that of each of the 29 boilers used 600 tons of coal a day? Boilers made the steam to work the engines. There were four restaurants stocked with over 40,000 eggs. There was even a heated swimming pool. What about the passengers and crew? There were 885 crew members, 337 in first class, 285 in second class, and 721 in third class. Many of the third class passengers were immigrants coming to America to start a new life. The captain, Edward Smith, was going to retire after this voyage on the Titanic. What really happened? The Titanic was making great time and the lookout spotted the iceberg from the crow's nest. Icebergs are pieces of glaciers that break off and fall into the ocean. Ninety percent of an iceberg is below water. You might smell one before seeing it. The minerals in icebergs have a distinct smell. After hitting the iceberg, Titanic broke into two pieces, falling two and a half miles to the ocean floor. The ship, Californian, only twenty miles away, did not hear any calls for help. Their radios were turned off. There were not enough lifeboats. Only 20. Over 1,500 lives were lost, like Isidore and Ida Strauss, part owners of Macy's department store. Did you know that only 705 passengers survived? Molly Brown was known for being the only woman to have rowed a lifeboat to safety. The youngest survivor was a seven-week-old Milvina Dean. What have we learned? Now there is an air ice patrol that warns ships about icebergs. Ship radios must be kept on at all times. Passengers have emergency drills, and all ships must carry enough lifeboats for everyone. In 1985, the Titanic was discovered by scientist Robert Ballard. He used a little submarine called Argo. Many people want to bring things up from the wreckage to study it more. Others, like Dr. Ballard, say it should be left alone to honor the memory of those lost. So, Tim, even though we have learned so much about this wondership, there's still much to discover.